Back in again guys with another video beer review. This time we've got a new beer from Marston's. It is a bottle conditioned IPA. This is a series of beers that they're doing at the moment. Um, there's only this one out that I've seen anyway. It's the, the Horning Glow Street for a special celebration of exciting collection of limited edition beers. Um, I'm not going to read all that crap out, but if you want to pause it, then go for it. Um, and shout out to Jaco Beer as well, because he, he reviewed this a few days back, and I was sort of like, mm. didn't speak too highly of it. But I was still intrigued to try it all the same, you know. Uh, four quid, Waitrose. So uh, let's see what we've got with it. on that loads of information absolutely shit loads of information <laughs> all right and there is the actual bottle 500 ml bottle and even more writing on the back plain crown so let's get out into a glass see what we get 7.4% Decent ABV, I must say. You know, around that sort of old Roger territory, which I do like. That is a Marston's beer that I do like. Old Roger. I'm sort of thinking to myself, though, with, with all the presentation and everything, is it... Marston's interpretation of the Fuller's vintage beers a sort of cheaper version I don't know okay beer in the glass yeah a nice golden colour um, a little bit of a haze to it that might be down to Chile's or not I don't know um, and uh, a finger of white head carbonation's nice and gentle A richness about it on the nose it smells uh, syrupy fruity sort of aroma to it yeah sort of I don't know uh, it, it reminds me a little bit of a, of a pudding what pudding it is I don't know that ain't popped into my head yet Candied maybe, yeah, candied, I think that's a better word. Candied sweetness, candied fruit. Let's go in on it. Cheers. That aroma comes through a little bit on the taste. You do get a, a, a very, very delicate candied fruitiness to it. I'm getting a little bit of booze. I did. I did want to. Like I say, I, I saw Jake, Jake's review of it, and he, he wasn't completely wowed by it. I can see where he's coming from. I wanted to go in liking it. Not jumping around, saying this is absolutely fantastic for Marston's or anything like that. Um, but I wanted, to, I wanted to like it a little bit more than what I'm getting at the moment. And it's pretty sort of boring, really. 
it's definitely not worth four pound. I think you know their beers, Old Empire, Pedigree. You know, a bottle of their beer, <coughs> pardon me. You know, just under two quid. I think four quid for this. You're paying for all this, really, because the beer doesn't really represent that four quid price point for me for, for a beer a, a mass-produced brewery like Marston's to make something like this the Fuller's side of things different ball game completely you, you know all right you're paying seven to nine quid a bottle for their vintage series which I think is money well spent because they are absolutely top draw beers this nowhere near it A very very quick candied fruit taste and, and that depletes really really quick and you're left with a little bit of bitter a bitter booziness oak maybe a push yeah it's it's nothing special it looks the part, but it doesn't deliver for me. So what we got here, what, what's he saying? Distinct hop varieties used late and dry. Sovereign, Ernest, Goldings and Cascade. Like low coloured pale malt from Holcombe in Norfolk, the home of British agricultural Burton spring water. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not saying don't go out and buy it, guys. Give it a go. You know, I was intrigued all the same, even watching Jake's review of it, and he, he didn't sort of sell it to me because he, he wasn't that wild by it. But I still wanted to try it. Just out of curiosity, new beer and all that jazz. I've tried it and I'm not impressed by it to be honest. But you know, like I say, go out and try it yourself. Make your own mind up on it. It's just my opinion at the end of the day. Take it or leave it. But this is uh, the, the Marston's uh, Oak Aged 2019 number one Horning Glow Street Bowl Conditioned IPA. That didn't deliver for me. Shame. See you on my next one. Cheers.